How many times do they have to tell you that they don't like you? Not y'all going out y'all way to single-handedly fight to be included by brands that tell you that they don't like you every chance that you get while single-handedly ignoring the brands that were made by people that look just like you for that very reason. So ungrateful. I'm not gonna lie, y'all got me hot. Y'all got my chissy sweating like it's a heat wave in July. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, every time I see one of y'all crying to go on one of them brand trips just so that y'all can melanate their pictures, I really feel like y'all are insane. I don't even feel bad no more because it's like y'all trying to be somebody token? Like, I don't get it. Every day I'm reminded that the No Child Left Behind kids are now adults because why are y'all shocked that Lululemon don't want y'all in their shit? Have you seen their ads? Not only are black women the highest demographic of earners, but we're also the highest demographic of consumers and y'all making people that don't like you rich? <laughs> no, because why would you want to be the only black person on that trip anyway? You feel safe? They saying it's going to take us 320 years to catch up to them and y'all still making them rich. It's 2024. There's no black brain you can support. And it does break my heart that we work so hard for our money and it only stays in our community for six hours. We need to focus our spending power on black brands that look just like us. When we do that, then they can focus their money on continuing to cater to us. When we do that, then the representation of the brand trips will look just like us. When we realize how powerful we are and how powerful our money is and where we spend it, we'll see the change. I was in Target and seeing that the lip bar had a limited edition Black History Month lip kit, so let's put that on. Support people that look like you. Anyways, I'm cute. Bye.